pleasure to do a scoot out of that I've played on many a scooter rally, yeah. We've been here since the start, we have. Scooter scoot scene's always been one of them sort of scenes that's uh, bubbled under, and it's not like big time or anything, but it's a, such a great scene that you can't beat it. I, I think it's one of the best. Well, I think it, it goes with it. It's sort of uh, happy time music, and of course, uh, when you've done whatever you've done during the week, it is really quite important to release your energies at the weekend and if Scar and Scooters are your thing, well it works. It's a great release and everyone has a good time and that's something that you can't buy with money. I think it's one of the great unions of cults. Uh, different cults, skinhead, mod, punk, hippie, rockabilly, psychabilly, the lot. Everybody gets on and it's a great thing that people do get on. What do you think about scooters, personally? Well, I have a T5 and I love to drive it around, but I'm not a long distance driver. I wouldn't say I was hardcore scooter. For those of you that don't know, this is Scar! Uh, at a very early age, I was a very young boy, about four or five, when I went to like parties of my friends that were. Uh, from Jamaica and were uh, listening to ska and so of course at a very very early age I got into it and I've never got out of it I, you know it certainly is a music for children and uh, some way it's like Peter Pan you know it just keeps us young this is ska. This is ska. it's done me all right yeah I started the band in 1976 although it could be said that we started before then but we never really played anywhere we just played in our bedrooms and all of that but but 76 is when we really started. And we started at school and we were, um, we just wanted to have fun. We didn't want nothing else. We never thought we'd ever get anywhere or have any success. And we didn't care about that at all. As long as at the weekends we had fun and so did the people that watched us. It was most important for us. And that attitude still lives today with bad manners. But I mean, I'm certainly someone that still enjoys doing what he does and you know, I, it's a shame when people just come back just for the money. I don't like all that. I think it's more important to play for the people. Fantastic audience tonight, fantastic audience wherever we go around the world. And people are loyal for one reason, because the music's always been loyal to them, I think. You know, it makes them feel special. It makes me feel very special. If I didn't enjoy it, well, I wouldn't be coming. But I do, I keep coming back and back and back because um, I never can forget it because it's such a good feeling. I think we've got me confused with somebody else. It's just not really easy to explain the feeling when you come off stage because it is such a great feeling that really, you don't really know if it's... Uh, real life because you come off stage and you are in a bit of a dream in it uh, and you feel very high and it's hard to come back down to earth but i've always been able to do it uh future plan bad manners has caused as much chaos as we've ever caused in our life um, luckily i've uh, reduced my weight from 31 stone to 12 and a half i think i'm 13 stone now and i think i've been given life again and the the ability to go and do everything that I've done before again which you know I've been around the world a few times and uh, we certainly had fun so I intend to do the same thing again.